Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin. Today's yoga practice is a 20 minute gentle, gentle flow for digestion. So if you're feeling wobbly in the stomach or you eat too much or you're just not feeling right, you have a stomach ache, um, this is a nice practice for you. Lots of emphasis on twisting, so aiding with the digestive process and also compression of the belly. So you'll relieve gas if you're feeling bloated. Um, there's a little bit of pranayama, so breathing into the belly, which will also help massage out those internal organs and lead you to feel a lot, a lot better. You don't need any equipment for today's practice. So when you're ready, I will meet you on the mat. Let's start today on hands and knees in a tabletop position. Shoulders over top of your wrists, your hips above your knees. And start to move through some gentle cat cows. Inhaling as you drop your belly, lifting your tail, your heart, and your gaze up. And exhaling as you round your spine, pressing the mat away, spreading your shoulder blades apart. Again, inhale, your tail, heart, and chest all lift. And exhale as you round through the spine. Few more times moving at your own pace, moving with your own breath. On your next inhale, come to a neutral spine. Keep your left palm planted. Inhale, sweep your right fingertips up to the sky. Your chest opens. Exhale as you thread your right arm underneath the left. Come into the outside of your right shoulder and your right cheek. Press into your left palm to spread the shoulder blades apart and deepen your twist. Draw the left hip crease back in space. Press into your left palm. Inhale, sweep your right fingertips back up to the sky. Exhale, right hand meets the mat. We'll switch sides. Left fingertips sweep up. Inhale. Exhale, thread left under right. And press into your right palm to really spread the shoulder blades apart, shining your heart up to the sky. Press into your right palm, inhale, unravel, sweep left fingertips up, exhale, your left hand meets the mat. Walk your hands forward to the top of your mat. You might walk your knees about an inch back behind your hips. And then melt your heart towards the earth and either your chin or your forehead will come down. Your hips are stacked over top of your knees. And you're breathing into this space across your chest. Press into your palms to come forward to your all fours and then tuck your toes, lift your hips back and up. Send yourself to downward facing dog. And you can pedal out the feet when you get here. You could shake out your head and your neck. and then start to introduce stillness to your body if you have not already. Your right leg sweeps up to the sky on your inhale. Exhale, plant your right foot beside your right thumb. Tap your left knee down. Keep your left palm planted underneath your left shoulder and inhale, sweep your right fingertips up to the sky. Draw your navel to your spine, stay in your twist, and stack your shoulders over top of your hips. So now your left fingertips are pointing forward, your right fingertips pointing back in space. Your inner thighs are hugging towards one another. You'll take an inhale here, 
you can stay as you are or perhaps that right hand comes back to your left hamstring your left fingertips sweep up to the sky drawing your navel in and up adding a bit of a back bend to your twist Maintain length through the left side body as you bring your left elbow across your right thigh and then plant your right palm on top of the left for a twist. So you've deepened your twist a little bit here and you can use the leverage of pressing your palms towards one another to roll your right shoulder back. Perhaps you look up. If you really wanna go for it, if it feels good, you could tuck your left toes and lift your left knee off of the mat here. Try to breathe into your belly in these twists. Soften your left knee back down. Bring your hands down to frame that right foot. Plant your palms, step back, downward facing dog. Sweep your left leg to the sky, big inhale. Exhale, plant your left foot beside your left thumb. Tap your right knee down, planting your right palm. Inhale, sweep your left fingertips up to the sky. Start to get light on your right fingertips and then keep your twist as you stack your shoulders over top of your hips. You're now keeping an open twist towards the left, wrapping your right outer hip forward. Either stay here or add your back bend, scooping the lower belly in and up as you reach your right fingertips up. And that left hand will come to somewhere along your right leg. Ooh, maybe you take a stumble like I just did, that's fine. Maintain length through your right side as you deepen your twist. Stacking palms on top of one another, bringing your hands to prayer at heart center as you roll the left shoulder back. Maybe right toes tuck and your right knee lifts off the mat. Soften gently your right knee back down to the earth. Bring your hands down to frame that left foot. Step back, downward facing dog. Start to walk your hands back towards your feet. Your fingertips will stay on the mat and then heel toe your feet a little bit wider, shoulder width, or maybe mat width distance apart. Turn your heels in, turn your toes out, bend your knees, sink your hips, lift your chest, and then bring your hands to prayer at heart center. So giving your internal organs the ascending and descending colon. A little bit of a massage here. Really stimulating digestion. Trying as best you can to breathe into the belly. And then let your fingertips come back down to the mat. And as you straighten out your legs, turn your toes in. Heel toe your feet back to hip width distance apart, bend your knees, grab opposite elbows and let the crown of your head be heavy. Release your elbows and then crawl yourself forward to your downward facing dog. Soften your knees to the mat, so you're back in that all fours position. And then walk your hands back towards your knees so you're kind of in the standing kneel with your toes tucked under. Bring your hands to your lower back, turn your palms so that your fingers point down and the heels of your hands are on those bony areas at the lower back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift your chest, inhale, Start to widen the collarbones, leaning back, feeling a nice big stretch through the front body. And then draw your navel to spine, untuck the toes and sit on your heels. 
and then close your eyes. And here, we'll breathe together. I want you to really focus on breathing into your belly. So it might be uncomfortable if you're full, uh, full of food or if you're feeling wobbly in the stomach, but really trying to breathe into the belly to create expansion and give those internal organs again a massage. So you're creating space as you breathe into the belly and then as you exhale, drawing everything back together. So we'll do this together. Take an inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth, make a sound. If it helps, take your hands to your belly. Nice big inhale into your belly, breathing in for four, three, two, and one. Exhaling four, three, two, and one. Inhale four, three, two, one. Exhale four, three, two, and one. Inhale four, three, two, one. Exhale four, three, two, one. Continue. After your next exhale, come back to your regular breath. You don't have to force or push or pull anything. Tuck your chin towards your chest, blink your eyes open, look up. I'm just gonna swing your legs off to one side to come to a seat. Okay, keep your left leg forward. Place the sole of your right foot on the outside of your left thigh. Take your right fingertips behind you, sweep left fingertips to the sky, inhale, exhale, twist towards the right. You can either hook the elbow or give yourself a hug. Remembering to breathe into your belly as best you can. And gently unravel, take a little counter twist to the left. Look forward, let's swap sides. Right leg goes long, sole of your left foot to the outside of the right thigh, left fingertips behind you, right fingertips sweep up, inhale, exhale, twist towards the left. Gently unravel, counter twist towards the right. Look forward, extend both of your legs long. Make sure your toes point up to the ceiling. You can even put a bend in your knees. Big inhale, your chest lifts, reach up. Exhale as you fold, hinge at the hips. So if you wanna keep the bend in your knees, you can really land your belly on your thighs and find that compression through your stomach. Let the crown of your head be heavy but all the while you're still taking those deep breaths into your belly. Now on your next inhale, tuck your chin towards your chest, slowly roll all the way up and then start to reach your fingertips forward, scoop out your lower belly, and as slow as you can, just get a little bit of work in that core. You'll lower it down onto your back. And see if you can hit each vertebrae on the way down. When you get down here, pull just the right knee in towards your chest. You'll keep your left leg extended long. And giving that right side a little massage. This is called wind relieving pose. So if you, if 
feel the need to pass gas or if you're feeling bloated, this will really help. And then we'll take a really easy twist here. Use that left hand to guide your right thigh across your body, rolling onto the outer left hip and reach your right fingertips away from you towards the right side of the room. And you could always cactus the arm instead. It's okay if the right knee floats, but you do want the back of your right shoulder connected to the earth, so watch for that. Draw your navel to your spine, roll onto your back. Pull both of your knees in towards your chest, give yourself a squeeze. And then keep the left knee in and extend your right leg long. And take your twist towards the right, that left thigh moving across your body, cactusing or capital T shaping the left side arm. Once more, drawing your navel to your spine, rolling onto your back, pulling your knees in towards your chest, and maybe you take a hold of your heels and you pull your forehead towards your knees like a little ball. And then from here, you can hold onto the outsides of your feet with your hands and find happy baby. So the legs go wide of the torso and the soles of your feet reaching up towards the ceiling. As best you can, your tail is heavy as are your shoulders. And then yogi's choice, you're either going to float into Shavasana with the arms and legs long, or you can bring the soles of your feet together and your knees wide apart for reclined cobbler's pose or Supta Baddha Konasana. And then from here, bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your stomach, close your eyes. Once more, really breathing into the belly. And you now have the feedback of your hand on your belly. I want you to feel that hand lift, lift, lift towards the ceiling as you inhale. And then as you exhale, your hand will slowly lower. Inhaling for four, three, two, and one. Hold at the top, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold at the bottom, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one, hold at the top, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one, hold at the bottom, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one, hold at the top, two, one. Exhale, four, Three, two, one, hold at the bottom. Two, one, continue.
end of your hold after the next exhale. Just let it go, come back to your natural breath. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes. You can give your head a little shake from side to side. If the soles of your feet are together and your knees are wide apart, use your hands, guide your knees closed like a book, place soles of your feet on the earth. If your legs are out long, you'll bend into one knee and then the other. Once more, place the soles of your feet on the earth. Gather your knees into your chest, give yourself a final squeeze, and then roll onto your right side and press up to seated. Close your eyes, bring your hands to prayer at heart center and thank yourself for taking this time to move your body. Namaste. Thank you so very much for sharing your time with me. I really appreciate it. I hope you're feeling a lot better and you can leave me a comment down below to let me know how you were feeling before and how you're feeling after this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the little alarm bell if you like to see my videos. I release two videos a week at minimum, one workout, one yoga video, and sometimes I have little surprises here and there for you. Uh, you can like this video if you enjoyed it. And again, I really appreciate you being here and I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.